Each year, scientists, researchers and everyday people make incredible discoveries, helping us to better understand the world around us. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. Traces of Strange Elements When researchers sent a robotic drone back in 1993 up through the different shafts found throughout the pyramid, specifically the shaft in the king's chamber, they uncovered metal pins and a strange small door. The metal pins discovered were that of a large amount of copper that appeared to have been corroded away from acidic chemicals and further information uncovered that the shafts were lined with different kinds of trace elements. The Queen's Chamber was discovered to have been found with a trace residue of zinc and hydrochloric acid, the exact chemicals needed to produce a large amount of hydrogen gas. When looking at the shafts and the way it would have mixed a variety of complex chemicals, this could have meant that the entire pyramid acted similar to that of a large power plant in the distant past. Additionally, with the discovery of the underground network of water tunnels, Many believe that the repeated pressure of the water delivered from the Nile could have added to the pressure of the chemicals and helped to power the entire generator. Given the fact that there appears to be no evidence or other working theories, it appears very possible that the technology of ancient Egypt was far more advanced than we ever could have previously realized. 100 Years Left on Earth Quite possibly one of the most thought-provoking arguments made by Dr. Stephen Hawking was his claims made about the probability of events that could spell disaster for the whole of humanity. By his calculations, regarding the overall statistical probability of the Earth facing a cataclysmic event at a large enough scale to cause human extinction, Dr. Stephen Hawking stated that it would only take as little as 100 years before humans would be unable to inhabit our planet Earth any further. The cause for such calculations he regarded were due to several factors that most people never even took into consideration. Not only is climate change and global warming an important issue that should be addressed, but by his calculations, there is no possible way to overcome the issue regardless of any form of technological advancement. What many people do not realise about the issues of climate change is that reducing carbon emissions does nothing to stop or prevent climate change overall. It merely slows it down. Dr. Stephen Hawking compares the problem to that of a car speeding towards a cliff. Slowing down the car does not prevent it from falling into the ravine. It merely prolongs the inevitable. Considering the fact that as temperatures have risen, this has caused water vapours from the oceans to form, which in turn create additional greenhouse effects. It is impossible to stop the effects of climate change regardless of how many emissions are cut unless every single emission is reduced by 100% and a technology capable of causing an artificial cooling is created. Two events with a higher statistical improbability than the extinction event itself. Given these factors alone, one would not be surprised in the slightest by Dr. Stephen Hawking's predictions, but his doomsday fortune does not stop there. Not only does he cite global warming as an issue of a cataclysmic scale, but he also believed and argued that we have reason to fear other advancements as well. From artificial intelligence uprising to alien invasions, Dr. Stephen Hawking claims that the only way humanity will persist past his line of extinction is to make attempts at preserving our genetic lineage by looking to the stars and accepting the fate of our planet as a whole. The Earth only has 100 years left, and we are currently in a countdown race against an extinction-level event itself. The Mysterious Sky Disk The Nebra Sky Disk was originally discovered by two men back in 1999 that were treasure hunting with a metal detector without a license in the state of Saxony-Anhalt. This led to the treasure hunters unearthing the disk, two bronze swords, two hatchets, a small chisel and a number of fragments of spiral bracelets throughout the region. Well aware of their finds without that of a treasure hunting license, the two men quickly decided to sell the artifacts to the black market in order to cover up their looting and make money in the process. This decision led to them selling the entire find for 31,000 Deutschmarks to a private collector in Cologne. 
The find would then go on to exchange hands within the black market community for several years, leading to the value of the piece being sold at more than a million Deutschmarks throughout Germany. It was not until 2001 that the discovery would find itself within the public eye, leading to a police operation to recover the looted collection and trace the sale all the way back to the original finders back in February of 2002. This led to the two men working out a plea deal with the government by showing them the original excavation site, which led to them only receiving roughly four to ten months in prison. Unfortunately, the two men would later try to appeal, leading to them receiving six to twelve months of prison time. The Nebra Sky Disc is described as being a small disc a mere 12 inches in diameter and weighing close to 5 pounds in total. The dating of the disc was found to be from the middle of the 2nd millennium BC, making the artifact roughly 4,000 years old. The disc itself seems to be a strange find as it features images of a full moon, a waxing moon, the Pleiades constellation, and additional zones on the sides to mark the rising and setting of the sun with the depiction of a boat moving across the night sky. This has led to some researchers believing that the disc could be evidence of an astronomical instrument, whereas others argue that it may have some religious significance. Additionally, ancient alien theorists have speculated that it could be evidence of an ancient UFO sighting of a shape moving across the night sky that was recorded in ancient times. Caribbean Ocean Whistle Many eerie sounds originate underwater. A lot of times, these sounds induce fear and paranoia. The dark, endless ocean can make one feel stranded and alone. But when we add a mysterious noise, one that seems to have no origin, it is no wonder we become uneasy. Thankfully, even though this first noise comes from a tropical paradise, if it makes its way to your ears, you will remain unbothered. Originated in the Caribbean Ocean, there is a whistle that is both too deep for humans to hear, yet so strong it can be detected in space. While researching fluctuations in ocean mass, scientists from the University of Liverpool discovered anomalies in their measurements. A series of instruments were being used to measure pressure along the ocean's floor. These instruments sent back data suggesting consistent pressure throughout the seafloor in the tropics except for one instrument. This particular instrument was located in the Caribbean Ocean. After running computer models and analyzing data, the scientists discovered what is called a Rossby wave in the ocean's basin. As the ocean is flanked by South America, Central America, and the Caribbean islands, it creates a semi-enclosed basin, which is the perfect landmass for this wave to make its slow journey across the sea floor. For 120 days, a wave makes its way west across the ocean basin before disappearing out into the ocean. Another wave reappears on the west side of the basin, ready to make the 120-day journey again. As this wave interacts with the seafloor, a whistle-like sound is emitted. This sound is made in much the same way as a whistle we make through our lips. The vibrations in the air from our lips cause the high-pitched whistle we easily recognize. This ocean floor whistle, dubbed the Rossby whistle, is so low humans cannot hear it. To put it in perspective, it is 28 octaves lower than the lowest note on a piano. This A-flat note is easily detected from space because the oscillation caused by the wave disrupts Earth's gravity field just enough. While this whistle is naturally occurring and harmless to humans, scientists are excited by what we can learn from it. Since the Rossby wave enters the Gulf Stream once it leaves the Caribbean basin, scientists believe studying this whistle could give insights into Earth's entire climate system. Furthermore, since the oscillation that causes the whistle lasts 120 days, scientists also think they could predict sea level changes along the South American coast and better plan for storms and floods in that area. It is simply amazing that a single oscillation can give us so much information about our planet. It goes to show that even after millennia of study, Earth still has her secrets. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.